Palmerston North Square was packed to witness the crowd favourites of the Hilux New Zealand Rural Games, the Highland Heavies. These giants from either side of the Tasman locking horns as they heaved, hauled and dragged some back-breaking boulders around the square. First up, the heavies competed in the world-famous caber toss, in which competitors were looking for the perfect 12 o'clock throw. Favourite to take the title, defending champ Aucklander Ruben de Jong. How did you like that, ladies and gentlemen? I told you he'd get at 12 o'clock, and he has. However, big Aussie Luke Reynolds was keen to give the two-time champ some stiff competition. Oh, look at that, Palmerston. Oh. That would have to be at 12 o'clock. Give him a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. In the end, it all came down to experience, with the giant De Jong throwing two perfect 12 o'clock throws to take the early lead in the competition. The second discipline saw the heavies take on the gruelling farmer's walk. Competitors have to run a 60-metre course carrying two 75-kilogram weights. This event pits speed and stamina in the ultimate race against the clock. And stuntman Ruben de Jong put in a powerful display to increase his lead. Here he goes. Come on, he's got a good mark to beat. Give him a hand. Ruben's round. OK, bring him home, ladies and gentlemen. Plenty of clapping, plenty of cheering. Oh, come on, big guy. Come, come on, on, Ruben. A new event this year saw the heavies contest the Highland version of shot put, with contestants heaving a 6.4 kilo stone. Local resident and crowd favourite Jono McFarland was in fine form, throwing an impressive 16.9 metres, almost three metres clear of his rivals. The weight over the bar discipline saw the heavies throw a 25 kilogram block of steel over their shoulders and over a bar set at ever increasing heights. Buoyed on by an enthusiastic home crowd, McFarlane was again in fine form. Yes, it's over. While others couldn't match his 15-metre effort. Bad luck, Aaron. All except Australian Man Mountain Luke Reynolds, who tied first with McFarlane. Arguably the most popular event with the locals and quite possibly the toughest discipline for the Highland Heavies, the Tomaranui Stones pits man against nature, where each contestant uses every ounce of strength to get five large boulders off the deck and onto a barrel. The killer blow being the stones get progressively heavier, from 80 kilograms to a back-breaking 134 kegs. This final event, a winner-take-all dash for Highland Heavy's glory between Kiwi Ruben De Jong and two-time runner-up Luke Reynolds. kgs. Makes that look easy up on the tyre. 100 kgs, ladies and gentlemen. It's an ugly rock. He's trying to get hold of it. Here we go. Up he goes. Bit of juggling. He's got that up. 114. That one would look even easier. Now 134 kgs. Come on, come on. Biggest one of this run. How about that? With Reynolds clocking 34.73 seconds, De Jong had a blistering time to beat. OK, Ruben's off. 80 kgs. Easy like that. 94 kgs. And he's running before he even puts it down. 100 kgs. That's an ugly rock, that one. 114 kgs. No problem. And 134. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, cheer them on. Look at that. 27.25. A rapid 27.25 seconds, more than enough for Ruben de Jong to win his third straight Highland Heavies title. Australia's Luke Reynolds settling for runner-up yet again, this year sharing second place with local lad John McFarlane, but winning once again Ruben de Jong. Well, Ruben, congratulations. Another one, defending champion. Yeah, thanks a lot. That's a three-peat, so I'm really stoked with that. I've never been able to three-peat anything, so yeah, it's awesome. You've just got to be so consistent, you know, you've got to, you've got to place in every Every event, I mean, if you come first and then come last, the points can just hurt you so badly.